Hi, I'm Router Bob. Welcome to Shop Saber Minutes. Today we're going to talk about rigid tapping. Internal threads are created with a process called tapping. Basically, you start with a hole that's, that's slightly smaller than the tap itself. Then the tap is inserted in the hole and twisted, and as it turns in, it cuts the threads. Then when you get to the bottom, you back it back out. When we do that on a CNC machine, that's called rigid tapping. What you see on the screen is a great example of that. Now, this is an aerospace mill. This is one of our frames. And because it's steel, it requires flood coolant. So if you watch as the tap goes in, it'll go in to the bottom and then it stops and backs back out. That's rigid tapping. Now let's look at how we do that in aluminum on a ShopSaver CNC router. Here's a good example of rigid tapping on an aluminum plate. First, the router is used to actually cut this hole, and that hole is a, what's called a pilot hole. So it's just a little bit smaller than the inside of the threads. Okay, then you'll see the tap actually start down, and then when it gets to the bottom of the hole, it turns around and reverses and comes back out, and then it goes to the next hole. It's really duplicating what I would do manually with a tap, but it's done automatically on the machine. And then, of course, you see the rest of the part fabricated. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Rigid tapping is an option on ShopSaber CNC routers. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, contact us at ShopSaber.com. Thank you for watching.